My end comes to all things in time. Seal the frost-hewn breach, and instruct the pilgrims in the patience of Remergond. As you wish. What is it, Watcher? It stinks of her. It is justice. But if her greater purpose was to think Margren would fall prey to such deceit. And Aethys. Widewind had always claimed to be invading Deerwood to free it. What if it were true? What if he had come to stop Woodica's plot before it began? Surely Aethys earned his death at Godhammer Citadel, but not for those reasons, not to keep him silent. If such a thing has brought about this chaos, must we always be tools of gods? If Woodica and Margrin, if they are the cause of this, the Hollowborn, if the purges were never necessary, if Aethys was fighting back, I know it had to be done. No, it... I am glad to have walked this far with you, seen this truth. Perhaps it was what I was meant to see, with a watcher's eyes. All these dances of words and intrigues, machines of men, twisted, ripping the souls of children and by the gods the goddess of justice. If I could end her like Aethys, I... Margren burned her once. One can do so again. Woodica, she must answer to her own justice. Anyone with a shred of spirit seeks both justice and punishment. It burns in the heart of anyone who lives. All seek it. If the world does not balance, we all drown in the oceans, and the gods would not care. Margren, she must be redeemed, and punishing Woodica, that will serve. Is this some final joke at my expense? To test my faith further? And why would you think that, Watcher? If all you have are questions, then I have enough of those. She is a bitch of a goddess to be sure, but even a whore only goes so far in crossing those she serves. You answer a question with a question. Then why did I feel her disappointment at Halgot? Why were we shamed? Kill me. She is a goddess. I still drink from her burning breasts, Watcher. If she wished me dead, she could trace me to my source and kill me. There's no proof, Watcher. I was a fool to think you could help me see any farther than I could. They died in the blast, yes. 
the other eleven. I was the only one to walk away. I thought we had wronged our goddess. That this was my trial, and if I could prove myself worthy, worthy of her, I should have known better. There is only one god of redemption, and I saw him ended. To think I served her, I followed her. Now I shall serve no one. Woodica's lies must be answered. And now it seems I must take fire and war from a goddess's false claim as well. I still take from her strength as I did, for as long as it lasts. For I shall not cast her aside yet, until I have drained her dry and had my fill, just as she intended for me. For I have learned one of the lessons of the faithful. The faithful may wound a goddess greater than any enemy. A purification is coming, and this fire shall consume them both. Stop right there. You're in the wrong city, Inquisitor. Did you think you wouldn't be recognized here in your old home? I've seen your trials with my own eyes. What are you doing? An assassin sent by the Inquisition, my lady. Daring to approach our camp. Do I know you? Stay here, in our camp, as my guest. My Lady Yavara, I beg of you. This is an Inquisitor. This is a desperate attempt on your life. The only way it can succeed is if you allow it to. This is a missionary, same as I was. Taught the wrong things as I was. If I can't have faith in one man's ability to reason, once he knows the truth, what hope do we have? We have many former missionaries here. They are our most loyal, our most helpful. Many have died for us. These are not people we should be turning away. And if the Inquisition wants my life, they can have it. But they know as well as I do that my cause will not die with me. Come, we have much to talk about.
I shall be discreet. Hello? Hello? If you say so, that'll do. Right here. Okay. If you say so. Yes? Yes. Right here. Right here. If you say so. Got it done. I'll keep an eye out. What is it? Right here. Okay. Ain't that special?
right here. What is it? Right here. Well? Right here? Yes. Yep. Gods, it's gotten hard to concentrate. You shouldn't be here, Traveler. And the others of my clan won't be so lenient if they find you sneaking around. Grima Gon's domain. A place where all things are mingled like snowflakes in a blizzard. It's a vortex of such chaos that even the Beast of Winter himself could not calculate the trajectory of the infinite particles of essence there. As souls are broken down over successive reincarnations, they become part of the White Void. It is a place where all things find perfect unity and freedom. The Frost-Hewn Breach is a weak spot in the barrier between us and the White Void. Thin ice on a frozen lake. We've come from the white that wends to find it. We call ourselves Glamfellen. Most here know us as Pale Elves. We hail from the white that wends, a glacial continent at the southernmost edge of Aora. We received a watcher in our lands a season ago and paid her to tell us of the origins of our souls. We wanted to contemplate the essence that fills us and consider how Rima Gond might shatter and sow us once our days are spent. We were not prepared for what we learned.
Yes. If you say so. Got it done. I shall be discreet. You gotta see this. this. Nice and quiet. Uh-huh. Well? If you say so. Got it done. If you say so. Got it done. If you say so. That'll do. Ain't that special? I shall be discreet. Let's see what lies this way. ahead.
Hey, um, how's that song go again? The one you were singing a minute ago? North and home again? Just getting into the mountain spirit. I'll keep it to a hum, if you like. No, it was nice. In fact, you could sing it some more, if you want. Did you see that dwarven woman? Oh, hips like a church bell. Now you want me to be that friend? I can't help you with women, Kana. As you like. She was making eyes at you the whole time, so I thought. Uh, maybe just point her out next time you see her. Clan of Glam Felon ventured from the White Fat Wens to find the crack in the ice. When you sealed it, you damned their souls to a slow, weathering year, one they had sought to escape. A fitting reply from an obedient servant. You seek always the correct answer, like a solution to a riddle. For each, there is a season watcher. Winter's shroud covers all things in its time. The heat and energy of life dissipates, and untethered essence fades into chaos. But entropy is a chisel of ice and a hammer of wind. It is not for mortals to wield these tools. I did not expect we would meet again so soon. You destroyed the army that threatened your life. This was not what I asked of you. You allowed someone to take your place. I gave you the means to solve your problem. Be grateful I allowed you to survive the ordeal. You would not be here if you did not require our aid. What is it you seek? Theos has removed these souls from the cycle. They are ice melting in the sun. Let them fade. Let them forget this world and be forgotten by it. Take the souls she so desires and grind them into dust. Let her see her careful schemes thoroughly ruined.
It is the destiny of all things to crumble and join the chaos that follows this world. Some seek it willingly, as you have seen. To mingle, roiled and stirred by the tides of the universe. It is not an unkind fate. She desires to order chaos and shackle the agents of change in the world. Under her, all things would remain static and frozen according to her laws. Even now, she only barely keeps the Pact of the Gods to leave the affairs of Kith in mortal hands. She moves in Theos where she cannot move directly. And so we call on you to do the same. Such are the schemes of the queen that was. I am the beast of winter. I neither speed nor alter my path for the whims and desires of Kith. I take souls at the time of my choosing, be it moat by moat or in a sudden tempest of chaos. These souls, they have already forgotten their place in this world. They have been lost to existence. Let them be memorialized and mourned for an age and then forgotten entirely. When you reach the Burial Isle, we will send lost souls to guide you through the pit. This is our gift to you. What you do after you face Theos will be your choice, but we would have you set the stolen essence adrift. And whether you would heed us or no, understand that our end comes to all things eventually. Help us achieve it, and we shall reward you now with a power to rival Theos's. But do not choose lightly. We forget nothing, least of all a betrayal. Do not wait forever. We wait, but Theos does not.